Hey guys, welcome back to Tabletop Robotics. I'm Justin. Today I'm going to show you how to make a simple Bluetooth joystick controller app in MIT App Inventor. This is going to control an Arduino Uno. So right now we're just setting up the Bluetooth connections. And after that we're going to set up the two buttons for the controller. Then right after that we're setting up the joystick itself. Setting up the background, we want to set it 250 by 250 pixels. This is a good size to fill a phone screen. Uh, now we're just setting up the joystick itself, centering it. We also need to set up Bluetooth and we're going to have to set up two clocks. One for the Bluetooth and one is going to be the send rate. Now the send rate is going to be low. This is how many milliseconds is going to take to send each byte. So if we want it low as possible but not too low or it can cause errors with the Arduino code and the phone. So the code right here is just to set up the Bluetooth. So the main idea of the program is that every 15 milliseconds is going to send a different byte of data and the Arduino is going to take that data and put it into an array. So you're going to have to send up three different variable names. One for the button states and two of them for the X and Y axes of the joystick. So for the button states, we're going to send a 1 if button 1 is pressed and a 2 if button 2 is pressed, then a 0 if none of them are pressed. So for the joystick, we're just moving the joystick to our thumb position. Now our thumb position can be over 250 and 250. So we need to limit that to just 250. We're gonna do an if state, an if then statement to keep x and y under 250. So now what we really want is that when you let go of the joystick, it goes back to the center. So we're gonna have to send all this information to the Arduino. And how we're gonna do that is every 15 milliseconds is gonna send one different piece of data. Now, this data could correspond to either the button joystick in the X position or the joystick in the Y position. And then just want to circle over and over again. So you're going to set up the speed rate timer. Then you want to make sure the Bluetooth is connected. Now what you want to do is, since we want to send one piece of information every 15 seconds, we're going to need a variable and we're going to call that send byte. And we're going to put that to one at the moment. Now, what we want to do is, this is going to be a very long if else state. There's going to be a bunch of ifs and then an else if. So if the send byte is equal to one, we're going to send one byte of data constantly at the end of every, it tells the Arduino what number does every other thing go into the way with. Then we're going to do a send byte is equal to two. We're going to send one byte number, but instead of sending a number, we're going to send a variable button state. Then we're going to do another else if, and now these are going to be the joysticks. So every time it goes around, you need to add one to the uh, send byte variable. So it does this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. Then we need to get send byte back to one. So what you have to do here is put another if statement. So if send byte is equal to five, send byte to one. And there you have it. So how this is going to work is it's going to send this. 255. That's going to initialize the array. Then in 15 milliseconds, it's going to send. So here's the Arduino code. The first part here sets up the array and some. This part here just takes the data from the phone and stores it into the array. Now this 255 is that constant term I was talking about. It just sets the first item in the array so the next item, button state, can be in the first, the second item, and so on and so on. Next I'll show you the code in action, then I'll show you the code of a finished app. 